Um, anyway, you, you wanted to talk about Queen. Yeah, I'll talk about it really quickly because I only got like, though that was a game where I said I would only play one level and ended up playing like seven. <laughs> <laughs> because I never played Quake before and I gave it a shot. And whoever's smart idea, and I'm not being sarcastic here, like whoever's smart idea it was to put jumping on the left trigger and firing on the right is the smartest human being alive. Because <laughs> I'm not good at fast games. But having the jump button be very easy and like accessible to me totally made my life easier. I, I am so happy for that because um like I, I was kinda of poking fun at someone like on the Steam forums, they're saying like, how do you aim down sights? And I'm just like, bro, because you know, it, it's it's an old PC shooter. Old PC shooters didn't have aim down sights. It's just it's just running and shooting and jumping all at the same time. So I, I think it's super awesome that just by default on controllers they are putting uh, jump on left trigger because you don't need to aim down sights and that's that's such a core core gameplay loop where you do where you don't want to have to move your thumb over to A just, just like even real quick. So it, it sounds it sounds fucking awesome to play on console. Also, shotguns have an insane distance. Like I oh, can yes. take somebody out from the other end of a room. It's like beautiful. Shotgun. And the first time I did it, I was just like, okay. Like, I was just like, that's fine. <laughs> um, and I, I mean, it's cool. Uh, Night Dive Supremacy, because that company fucking rules. Having secretly worked on the Quake remaster, like, just putting it out in a single day, being like, surprise, while well, we've been working on System Shock 2 and the System Shock remake, we dropped a Quake remaster on literally the same day that we announced it. It's like, all on uh, Game Pass too, right? Yeah, all the Quakes are on Game Pass, and the remaster of the first game, which is done by N Night Dive, it's not done by B Bethesda, it's done by Night Dive, with Bethesda being like, um, or id being like, uh, consultants on it, um, it fucking rules. Like, that game Wait. is... Is it all four? Because if I remember correctly, isn't Quake 3 online only? Like, it's, like it's multiplayer only, right? It's not just... I know there's not just one Quake on there. There's the remake of the first game, or, or the remaster, and I saw there was maybe Quake 2 on there, too. Um, I can boot up my Xbox really quick and check. Um, we'll we'll but, leave it into the ether. Like... <laughs> But I never thought I would dig this game, but I don't know, maybe it's because Night Dive did it, and I'm a sucker for that company. Um, but, like, they did a killer job. That game looks fantastic. Especially running on, like, a Series X. Like, that game looks fucking fantastic. It, and then apparently on Switch, it, it, it looks fantastic, too. Like, whoever in that company sold their soul to have a fantastic group of people, like, good on you, man. Like, Night Dive is saving gaming um what's the term night dive is saving the ability to um to uh i can't think of the term um preserving serve. yeah they're 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 literally on the forefront of preserving old school Preser people. preservation i think literally remastering them in a way where they look beautiful compared to when they came came, came out like it's they're doing literal God's work in preservation, and it's crazy. Like, just, I can't get over the fact that this, that we literally found out about this Quake remaster on the first day of QuakeCon, and then it released the same day. Like, they're like, oh, we've been working on this for, like, a year now in complete silence, and we just dropped it today, and it's one of the best remasters I've ever played, and I've never played the original. But they have found a way to, like, modernize an old PC shooter from, like, the early 90s into something playable and incredibly fun on fucking the $600 next-gen consoles. And I'm just having a blast. Like, again, I told myself I would only play one or two levels, and I did, like, seven. Nice. does have some weird 90s jank, though. Like, where it's like, oh, this key on the wall is blue, but it says I need a yellow key on the door. It's, it's like, it's like, oh, do these crates have the Nine Inch Nails logo on them? Yes. <laughs> Only to find out that Nine Inch Nails did the soundtrack for Quake. I'm like, all right, that makes sense. Like, there, like there's been some weird jank I've ran into, like shots going through en en enemies or like an enemy, I think, only takes one shot. will take like 20. Oh, wow. And there's been some jank where I've, um, where I'm thinking I'm running fast enough to get away and put space between me and something else, but in the time where I turn around to hit something else, it's already right behind me. 
like there's been some times like like, like that where I've gotten like or gotten like I, I like the I think they're called shamblers. Like the big dudes that like, jump at you like uh head crab style, but they're like big. Um those enemies annoy the shit out of me. Because they take so many bullets and they always appear out of nowhere. Like you'll literally be turning a corner and ones are right in your face. So it like traps you in that corner because you can't get out and it takes so much health. Um and the fact that there's no difficulty option is kind of weird to me, but again, it's 90s jank, so maybe Night Dive just couldn't edit one in. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's cool. Preserve, I'm all for preservation, and I'm all for preserving really old 90s PC games that really rule. And I think Night Dive did an excellent job with this re- remaster, because it's gotten me interested. I mean, hell, I as soon as I heard about it and I heard that Night Dive was doing it, I instantly downloaded it, and I played it. I played it for like a Enough. I had an absolute blast. So, Quake is cool. Apparently, it's playable all in co-op. Might get my co-op buddy on it with me because he said, "Oh, you know, all the all the all the, all the Quakes are playable in co-op." So, I might I might attempt that. Um, but yeah, it's fun. Nice. I, 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 I feel like I know a lot about Quake just because I know a lot about ID. Um, it, I, I would highly recommend the book uh, Masters of Doom. It came out freaking forever ago. It's basically the entire foundation of ID. The uh, people that made it. Um, the game, how they went about making Wolfenstein, making Doom, making Quake. Very fucking interesting book. It's not even, it's not that long. It's an easy read. Um, highly recommend. But I think I even own like all the Quake games on Steam. I've just never really gotten around to playing them. I, th- I think I've played like maybe thirty minutes of, of Quake One. Well, but I'm, I'm interested to check in the. I'm interested to check out the remaster if it's like a complete like. Um, maybe not complete overhaul, but I'll still check it out either way. It's- from what I've heard, it's not an overhaul, but it's a very well done remaster. Because I don't know, a lot of the Night Dive artists have been posting the uh, the before and after pixel art of the original game and the remastering that they did. The, it, the, it's some solid work, dude. Like, Would they you... up shit. Like, they whew, cleaned it all, all up. Would you say that? Quake distinctly feels like a PC shooter. Like, are you having a good time using a controller, or does it feel like one of those games where you should be playing with a mouse? Well, the one thing that I also think Night Dive does really well is they add uh, they add controller support to a lot of the remasters that that they do because they know that people like to play these games with controllers if they can. Which is why I'm very interested in the System Shock Two remaster whenever that decides to drop into my lap. Um, but like, yeah, I felt great playing it with a with a controller. Kind of reminds me of how they ported like Doom and Doom sixty four and stuff over. I felt fine totally playing it. I actually had a fun time playing it with the controller, nice. es- especially with how they put the put the like buttons and stuff. It like it definitely. Um, and I was pretty sure Night Dive did that on purpose because they maybe tested it out which with with which button works like tan tan tangential with uh firing and like jumping and stuff mm-hmm. um because yeah like I, seriously i'm kind of sad i never played the original because i would have wanted to like play the original and then play this and like see the see the difference but i could just tell playing it on like an hd tv like an hk hd 4k 120 hertz tv it runs like a dream for being from like 1992 <laughs> does it have uh 120 support i don't know uh if i had to think about it probably not because a lot of what Night Dive does with their remasters of stuff is they tend to keep the original experience. They just make it better. Like, so I think it's running at 60 on the Series X, if I have to guess. Um, and obviously the like the like pixel art is cleaned up. It looks super smooth, though it still kind of again has that 90s jank to it. Um, because it's obviously pixel art and skeletons and samurai people. So it's got that weird little 90s jank to it. But, like, I feel like they keep the good jank and they fix the bad jank. Or they fix what they can. Or they just add in if the jank allows them to add. So it's like, it's if you played the original Quake and you haven't played this yet, I don't know what's wrong with you. Because it's very, very good. It's it's nice lay back and just place play like a level or two to me. Mm-hmm. Because the levels seem pretty quick. Um, and also, I forgot to mention, this has all the DLC in it. So, like, oh, those nice. expansions that they came out with, that's all in there. You can nice. pick it and, like, so when you click, uh, when you click start, 
and you click like new n- new game, it lets you pick from the base game and all its chapters to the expansion and all its chapters. So like you can pick where you want to start at. So so they so they didn't just do Quake. They did all the expansions for Quake in there too. Nice. So overall, pr- pretty solid time. Highly recommended. Interesting. It's cool to finally play a piece of history. Since I never played it. It's incredibly cool to... Because I saw that, uh, the recent Sh- Shadow Man remaster, and the fact that they're bringing S- System Shock 2 finally able so that people can play it and not hate the jank. That, because that jank's pretty bad jank. Uh, I, like I said, Night Dive's doing fucking work. Night Dive's supremacy, uh, man. Like... Nice. Night Dive's basically saving PC gaming and saving its his- history. And I think that's incredibly important in this company rocks. Awesome. Plus it's on Game Pass. So. Yeah, yeah, if you have Game Pass, yeah, might as well. Pass, so I did not have to pay a dime to uh, play it. I will, Which- I will say, I, I've been just going through a whole bunch of Game Pass games, just like giving up, I'll give them like an hour or two, just to like feel it out, give them a, give them a fair shake. And even if I don't necessarily stick with something, it's it it's a great way to check things out. I, I can't highly um fuck, fuck that. I highly recommend Game Pass, is what I want to say. It's 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 okay. it's it's nice to be able to try things out, even if you don't intend on sticking with them. Like, let's just be honest here, I most likely wouldn't have played Quake Day One if I'd pay for it. And that's not a that's that's not like a what's the term? That's not like me being like, oh, I don't think I'm going to like this. That's just more, I always thought Quake was never my thing. So I would have probably waited till it went on sale. Mm-hmm. Um, but the fact that I can actually like play it and not have to pay and be like, okay, will I like this? Yes or no. Is incredibly like, I love it. It's, it's incredibly interesting. I'm happy to play a piece of history finally. And Night Guy rules. Nice.